My name's Colin Hall and I'm going to give you a demonstration of psychic art or inspirational art or spiritual art. There's many names for this art but the art itself is really just going that flow. And in this flow of energy I do connect with the elemental worlds of the four elementals, fire, earth, air and water, also the angel world. I do feel very much that this art is connected with the soul and the soul's work. So I'm going to give you a demonstration of the art and just going to flow. So now I'm feeling more to do with the water spirit, so I'm going into the bottom, into the water elements you see. As I'm sensing this water elements coming around, yeah, I'm just aware of one of the great water spirits of Neptune, you see. Neptune is the, uh, can control the water, controls the tides, and also the elements of water does connect with our spiritual gifts, you see. So um, all these elements are connected connected to which is so anyway um, we stop talking for a minute and then uh, when I stop talking I can concentrate more on the art you see so. Okay, that's a, de um, a demonstration of the art. You just go with the flow and working with the spirit and the pictures that come into my mind are just transfer from the spirit world into my mind and just to channel, channel the, the energy through. Um, I'll just talk a little bit about the picture. Neptune here is to do with the water spirits. Water spirits are connected with us. It's more to do with the, our, our um, spiritual gifts and also to do with our soul energy. A lot of these paintings are connected to the soul and I notice the more I do these paintings, the more I'm connecting to the people's souls and the souls, you see, really, that's, I feel that is where the inspiration comes from. The connecting with the spirit. This is sometimes you read a book. Uh, we get involved in the book, maybe tears start coming, or we listen to music and it takes us up or takes us down, you see. Or look at a picture, you can use it, but sometimes people get goose pimples looking at paintings because it's affecting their, 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 their body. And I feel what the part it's affecting is connected with the soul, you see. Um, now here I put a, a, a row of angels coming down. This lady here, the one in the centre, this is a Maria. I see her quite a lot and that's how I see her. She's very, very tall, uh, very big. And the bigger they are, the, it's really indicating the more power they are. She's a teacher and a healer, uh, a philosopher as well. Mostly I see her with women and children. And it's usually when um, there's, there's a lot of problems in someone's life, so that's always when people ask for help, she does arrive. The rainbow here, symbolically, that's to do with the form of the seven colours, also to do with healing as well. And then we've got this, um, I feel this more of a, a passageway up here, it's like um, a stairwell well going up. It's, um, Maybe a passageway, and we're coming to the top here, 
we've got the angels as well. And just near this angel as well, I've got to put butterflies there. Now butterflies again are to do with the transformations and changes, you see. So just put the little butterfly and the connection there to this ladder of higher consciousness as well. And here, as you, um, I'm just seeing in my eye at the moment, geometrical, geometrical figures coming out, you see. Now, I have produced a, a box of cards as well, called Working with, the, Working with Geometrical Angels, as well as Working with the Four Elements. This is, a, this is the first box here, Working with Geometrical Angels. It explains more about the geometrical uh, vibrations. It's on a higher vibration. All the information is in the box of cards, and this, this box of cards is working with the four elements as well. That's the fire, earth, air, and water. We are connected to these elements, you know, and I feel it's important these days because man's consciousness has changed a lot about the environment, you know, and it's something like people are being more aware of the elemental world and wanting to work more with it as well, and as well as the shamanic world. So. Here we've got the geometrical energy. It's a very, very big subject, really, and it's um, something I've um, been here all week talking about geometrical symbols if I started, you see. But uh, as I said, it is on a higher vibration. And as I'm drawing this now, as I'm getting more into the flow again, I'm just aware of little fairies here, you see. So, I'm just going to put a little fairy. This is indicating the fairy kingdom and um, their connection to us and nature, you see. And that's a little fairy's wing here. And I put one on the other side and another little fairy coming out. So this is to do with the four elements, you know. Um, I do see that, I have seen the four, I've seen the the fire spirits, Pele, Pele, the great fire goddess of Hawaii. I'm aware of her quite a lot of time. But also, if you notice, when you look at the eyes, as if they're talking to you, see, and um, the more I look at his eyes here, I do see, I feel it's, um, it's to do with the consciousness of man. I just see uh, a, lot, a lot of rocks there, as if the sea is hitting the rocks, you know. And I feel it's the state of the earth at the moment, you know, that is showing me, you know, and I see all these colours. Now, as I look at them, I'm catching the colour green. You see a lot of green anyway, in, inside, um, in, in water as well, as well as sea water as well. So, this is why I'm just putting this um, colour green, in, you see, it's just going through. And as I look at him, I feel like he's bringing the rainbow out of the water. It's like looking at a dew drop in the morning and seeing the rainbow inside, you see. And I feel this is a rainbow here. Also, as I'm working, I've got to put some yellow here as well, you see, just to balance the colours in. And this is how the colours start to flow, you know. It's just getting in that flow of energy and, and producing whatever they see. I've got to put a little pink in, not a little pink, that's all. Now the pink is, um, is to do with the, our sensitivities, you see. And I just put a little pink and then I'll just blend it in slowly. So it's like a, this is a lotus flower here I'm doing. And out of the lotus flower, as if we're all connected, as if inside everybody, there's a seed like a flower just wanting to come out, as if really we're all flowers, but um, sometimes the seeds are still inside, dormant, waiting to come out. But I feel these seeds, uh, symbolically, you know, they're connected with our soul and the way, um, um, you know, the way we, 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 we go into life, do we become more aware of the spiritual world, the, the seeds will germinate and come out as well. And this is what we should be doing. And it's something that's very important to understand the balance between your physical self and your spiritual self, especially the soul. A lot of this work, and I do a lot of workshops everywhere, it's on my web website, www.colinhall.com. 
art.com you can see um, and you can see go to the website and see the links there to where I work but uh, um, I think most of my work really is to find the inspiration in ourselves but I feel the inspiration is connected with our spiritual gifts you see so developing our spiritual gift automatically we come into the spiritual realm as well uh, I hope it's been some uh, some uh, you know um, some information for you and it's uh, been a pleasure to do this uh, this uh, YouTube and um, hope to all see you all again.